Hey, buddies! Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization VI as Sumeria, where we're having an amazing time. Now, we are playing in a modded game. Links to the mod pack will be in the description of the video. And I think we're going to go ahead and unlock mercantilism now. We're good to get handle on... Ooh, the camp improvements get plus one production, plus one food. That'll be really nice for the capital because it has a decent number of camps. Now, I forget exactly what we were working on, but I think we were basically working on building up our sort of naval industry i am oh my god i got the hiccups i am going to go ahead and place a civic square right there that'll kill that tile and then i may as well well i hate to kill this banana tile but i may as well drop a fairground here these are just important buildings that i get and we are going to however focus on making more caravels naval naval stuff is the thing that we're going to do. We got a builder over here in Lagash. Let's get the irrigation wheel. I'll try to bring builders in from somewhere else. I have two settlers in production. I have inquisitors defending my territory from any potential religious incursions. And yeah, we got nice spread happening, actually. We got our religion pretty well defended. We've also had a wonderful time exploring. Could improve that fish. Don't think we need to. Now, the builder in here is fine. Let's get ourselves another caravel. We do have the press gangs card plugged in. Did I ever build? You know what? I never built the shipyard. So I'm going to go for the fishing dock in here. I'll build caravels from there. That's fine. I do think harvesting that stone would be based. Yeah, I definitely need more tile improves over here. Ziggurat is fine. I think we'll pop a ziggurat there. There's no reason not to. There is actually a pretty nice... Well, one, two. We could put a preserve there or a holy site. But yeah, we're not going to worry about that just now. All right, there's banking and we have a potential to go for military engineering here. I think it would be nice to unlock NIDA. We have a settler in Kish. Let's send this one out. There is something to be said for continuing to develop uh, settlers in here. The potential for a colonial empire is uh, pretty high. We're going to harvest this. That'll finish the commercial hub. We'll overflow into a builder. I do have room for another trader. One of my traders did get pillaged, which is, again, annoying. I think Lagash could honestly use that trader, so I might buy it in Lagash. Boom. Trader in Lagash. Caravel is out now. Let's go auto-explore with our caravel. Uh, I think I'll get one more caravel. I think that should be enough boats. Then again, having a strong navy would make it so that we're basically untouchable on the seas. We take out this thing in near Venice. Really what we're doing is we just want to find out more about the world and see if there's places we can sneak in little cities to get cute little empire developments. There's another settler. We'll send this one up there. Uh, let's keep getting those settlers out. I do like them. Trader here. I think we would like to trade for production. And we could trade with Uruk or we could trade with Alundi. I do think trading with Alundi is fine. We'll do that. Now, we could build a ziggurat or a rice paddy or a farm. I think we'll build a paddy. It's kind of cool. Now, I think we had decided to build the wine industry over in Kish. So I think that's what we will do. And I'd like the tobacco industry in my capital as well. If we could make that happen, it'd be cool. All right, there's military engineering. We have access to NIDA. We also have access to mercantilism. I don't think we need to change anything right now. I think we're pretty happy with the way we have things set up in terms of stuff in here. May as well get castles and maybe consider working on siege tactics. Civil engineering seems like a good pickup. It's got a governor title. It's got a few policy cards that would improve things. All right, we got the builder in here. So we'll keep developing the city. Um, irrigation wheel. Get ourselves a nice rice farm. We should maybe start thinking about some alliances. Maybe we'll do an alliance with the Zulu. What if we were to declare a friendship? Send them a resident embassy. We get ourselves a military alliance. Because actually, I think the Zulu would be a great military ally. What about the Cree? Let's send a resident embassy. See if he'll declare a friendship. What about... No, I don't care about joining your war. What if we did a economic alliance with the Cree. Oh, he's willing to pay me quite a lot for this. 47 gold per turn for that economic alliance. Guitarja, I think we'll see if we could declare friendship with her, get an embassy, and then do a maritime alliance. Well, for some reason, I can't select maritime alliance. I don't know. Maybe the mod is slightly bugged. All right, another caravel sent off to auto explore. Let's get the civic square in here. I did manage to get the uh, thing in Oma. Now we've got the target range, which is ranged recon siege. The barracks is melee and anti-cavalry. The stable is heavy and light cavalry. I think I'll go for the target range. I want to be able to build siege effectively. I will for, however, place the civic square, even if I don't intend to build it just yet. This place definitely needs more builders. I definitely just need more builders in general. Seven production is really not a lot. I'm going to buy a builder in Kish and send it to help the city out. I think that's what I'm going to spend the majority of my money on is on builders. I can buy a builder every two to three turns, which should be good enough. 
to assist. Some gold will need to be fed into these new cities that I'm settling, but that shouldn't be too important. But well, we've got a nice reef right here that we could put the amusement pier beside, and then we could put the harbor right there. We've got a nice little gold trading city. Let's grab printing for the Forbidden City, as well as diplomatic visibility on everyone. We got the fishing dock in here. Definitely this is a shipyard city. So let's grab that. I've got two envoys to play around with. Let's have a little bit of a look. I think an envoy into Mahenjo-Daro could be worth a bit and another envoy into Venice. Could be worth a little bit. Okay, go ahead and improve this industry. So that'll be nice. Uh, we may want to consider settling or killing someone for more wine. Like for example, this continent, actually if I were to kill the Incas, I would have control of this entire continent basically. That might be worth it. So that's something I should really seriously consider now. Maybe after this era of colonization, we'll go on an era of conquest against the Inca. We'll take them out, take over the whole continent and see what we can do. Oh, now would be a good time to start building up actually, because we could buy units for half price or build them for half price. I don't really care. Either way, we'll go for trade cities and half price with gold. Sometimes the AI about gold, it's rare. Ah, they went with production. So we could produce units. Not in this city, this city is too bad. Let's settle right here. Magnus, swap this tile. We'll chop there. I got the settler in the capital. Do I want to keep going or do I want to start like building trebuchets for a potential war that could, could be coming up? I think pre-building trebuchets might be a good move. So I'll start doing that in my capital. Over here in Bad Tibira, I think the first thing we do is we lay down the harbor because that's going to be our long-term return on investment. This city is going to need to get gold injected into it, which means a builder, really. So what we'll probably do is just work on the the harbor, but we'll get gold injected in over there um, in the near future. Potential other city. Hello. Another one tile island city here. I like it. Another potential one tile island. I love one tile island cities. They're very, very fun to settle because they're objectively not great, but they are fun to build. So if I were to put the amusement pier here, that'd be a plus two. And if I put the harbor there, it'd be plus four. What if I were to crush the crabs? It's a plus two. Fortunately, I think this is the best configuration here. It's not a very good configuration, but it is what it is. Oh man, am I looking forward to... Uh... So you control this ocean. It means I should probably settle inland on this little weird tundra island. I think, I think my main focus should be on settlement right now. So I've decided to stop building trebuchets and we're going to focus on settling. Settling and exploring, getting control of land. So you get your irrigation wheel in here. I could go for this. I could go for builders. This would... If I'm building builders manually, we're going to buy the fishing dock in here slowly get us to grow faster. What are my best gold trade routes? Available routes by gold. Ashak to Venice. I'm going to remark uh, Ashak into a trade hub. And I'm going to go for the Entrepot, which is plus three gold per ally city this city has a trade route to, plus one production on all unimproved coast. International trade routes from the city gain plus one gold. It also gets eight gold. And I'll just move in a trading uh, direction. Oh, shoot. I need to rename cities after my patrons. I'll do that in a couple of minutes. Ooh, 30% production towards military units in the capital. That would actually work really well with the next session thing. Plus one era score. There's civil engineering. So if I plug in the builder card, boom, public works. I think colonization is still fine. We do have a couple of cities down here. Something to be said. Let's see. Well, like this thing captures three of these fish tiles, but this captures, they, there's a lot of overlap. So this one doesn't seem very good to me. I don't think I should settle this one tile island. Maybe settling this one. Like if I settle on the salt, this way I capture a lot of the coastal resources that aren't overlapped. Ooh, but I do want those turtles if I can get them. I think we'll settle on the salt. Yeah, settle on the salt. And then possibly harbor there, mutant period there, something like this. Um, then maybe a couple of lumber mills help this little city out. Okay, may as well have research, reform church, and the enlightenment. Just gonna keep ourselves busy. We will grab Victor and we'll appoint him in Sipar. We have one of every governor now. You've got a single bill charge left. Um, we can move Magnus to where? Probably Bad Tibira. We're gonna swap a tile here to Lagash and we should be able to. Oh, we can't build a paddy field. Interesting. All right, let's trade with Granada for the envoy. We're going to start moving all of our trade routes to the trade hub. You definitely need a builder. I'll have to buy one in Kish. Let's go ahead and settle here. Nice one. There's Larsa. Little bit of loyalty in here. It's not much. Pop that harbor down. Tell you what we'll do. We'll come in here and we'll see if we can buy a luxury resource to make the city happier. Yeah, now the loyalty is fine. Ooh, we can actually place our second district, the amusement pier because it starts at four pop. Excellent. So we're undergoing a very interesting transition from like a sort of land economy to a colonial economy, which is going to be an interesting experience. Also, the city of Lagash is just going to be massive with population, which is great because it's going to be essentially a border city with a lot of pops in it. All right, Paddy Field. We got another settler in here. I'll keep that settling going. Gold purchase, a builder in here. I'm going to try and do this efficiently, even if it means he gets to where he needs to be slower. Build up Civic Square. 
I think we'll stay in monarchy. I think monarchy is a pretty reasonable government type to stay in. We will go for siege tactics. I wonder if I could quickly crank out two traps for the sake of boosting siege tactics and getting that a little bit quicker. I think that's a reasonable thing to do. I will be chopping here, boom, mainly so I can place the industrial zone. I think we'll work on the artillery battery. Let's see. So armory is melee, anti-cavalry, recon, and ranged, plus one production to all strategic resources, plus two production, plus one great citizen slot, plus one great general point, plus one production from citizens. Then we've got the supply depot. This is for heavy cavalry and light cavalry. Uh, they start with a free promotion. Wow. Free promotion. Increases healing rate by 10 in this encampment district or any adjacent tiles. Does not stack if in range of multiple. Required for training medics and supply convoys. Plus two production, plus one citizen, plus one great general. And then we've got the artillery thing. This is for siege. Siege promoted cast is going to start with a free promotion, plus two city defense strength and plus two city range strength per level. So being able to start with a free promotion on siege units would be pretty damn good in an artillery battery. So I'm going to get started on an artillery battery. I would like to produce artillery out of this city. And our goal eventually will be to kill the Incans. They have um, a lot of resources and they also share our continent. So all tourism for great works are double. Great works are riding, that is. You're going to produce builders for me. You got your civic square. Now, do I want the assembly or the theater? Let's go for the assembly. Experiment. I've dropped the mine right here. Now the city has a decent production. It's not amazing. It's decent. You could really use a productive tile. All right. Um, let's chop here. That'll finish that building. And then you're going to go ahead and get started on your civic square. A douche. Oh, I don't necessarily want to build it. I just want to place it. More builders coming. I have the gold now to start to develop this city. So I'm going to go ahead and buy a builder in it. Let's go ahead and harvest the jungle. Man, I just need build charges, which is why I need the gold. 10,000 year flood. Oof. Yeah, Lagash is going to need a dam. All right, let's get the fishing tiles up because they're going to be where we get a lot of our power for the city. Chop that tile, two turns off that. You're going to settle on the nanners. Perfect. Plus two era score. Now make sure that we place the harbor and the amusement pier. And we immediately start working on the harbor because everything else can be gold boosted. We're seeing how things are shaking out. I'm really happy with the progress our empire is making. Like, I don't care about the tourism. I'm just having fun playing. Okay, so it might be good to actually develop the capital a little bit here. Um, like, maybe we should go for foreign ministry because I believe Gilgamesh already pays half to levy. So let's go for the foreign ministry, which means we should probably buy the... Um, Chancery. Let's see what we can sell. Any iron buyers, any horse buyers, any diplo favor buyers. Uh, 600 gold per turn. All right. So I think we will buy the Chancery for the plus three influence. That brings us up to 18 influence per turn. We got the assembly in Sipar. We can get the cabinet, which is amenity, or the mansion. Uh, I think I'm going to take the cabinet because it has an amenity. Boom. All right. Start getting the fishery tiles. I'm going to invest a lot of money into developing Bad Tabira because it's got a lot of chops. Right, there's the Enlightenment. I think now is the time to focus on the chops. Boosh. All right, let's get colonialism. This will give fishing boats plus one production, which would be really nice. We got a civic square in Ur. Let's go ahead and finish that fairground. All right, I, I still need some settlers to continue to fill out my plans. Military science. It wouldn't be bad to get the military academy. What's the alternative? The arsenal? Where does that unlock? That's unlocked at industrialization. Yeah, I'd like the arsenal. Want that 50% production towards siege for Uma. Uh, I've got envoys in the bag. I'll put two into Venice. Gets a little bit more cash. Hey, we met France. It's an honor to meet you. would love to sample your hospitality. Okay, so sell off luxuries, sell off luxuries, sell off resources. Lovely. Probably should do mutual open borders. Don't care enough. I'm going to get a builder in Larsa as well. Um, I would like to buy a monument and granary. So we'll chop here. Need to inject gold into these cities, basically. You know what? Let's change this city. Where can we build a dam? Build a dam there. Build a cistern there. And build the industrial zone there. And in the meantime, go ahead and build me that dam. It'll take you a while. You'll be busy. It's fine. There's another productive tile for you. Okay, nice. We got the artillery battery here in Oma. Probably good to get the fishing dock. Another settler is in position. Really want to explore this tile over here. So I'm going to upgrade you. Well, you're already a knight. So let's send you over there. Let's go ahead and s harbor there. And that's what we'll work on. We'll eventually get around to assisting you with gold. Right now, I'm trying to get Bad Tabira on its feet. And with Bad Tabira on its feet, I can use the gold and resources that Bad Tabira generates to help out the rest of my empire. Here's a question. Are you able to boost the construction of dams? Possibly not. I think you might be able to do cisterns though, right? Let's have a look. So if we switch to cistern, we pop that in there. He can help build it, but it's only 10%. So we'll just stick to the dam for now. It's one of the changes the mod makes is more permissive in how it lets the units do things. Nice. We're down to six turns on that harbor. Settle the little city. First things first, get that harbor. 
Get that amusement pier. Wondering if I can get three error score, probably from levying. So like Tabir is already making seven gold per turn and it's only just beginning. Let's harvest, place the amusement pier in here, and place the civic square in there. Gold purchased a granary to keep the city growing. We got the cabinet in Sipar. I guess we can start production on a settler. Paddy field, farm. Boom, there's a nice little fishing boat right there. Like this city's already at nine population, which is kind of absurd. And um, let's buy the two choppable tiles. I definitely need to get more builder charges over there. Harvest the bananas, put a mine on that tile instead. Don't know what to put here. I guess a farm is fine. Larsa, let's buy a fishing tile. These are really high value tiles, right? Three food, three production. What can I sell? I could sell salt. And if I can get enough, if I can get enough money, I might be able to buy a fishing pier in here. Fishing dock rather, which will make these fishing tiles even better. Extra production, really helping the city out. We have circumnavigated the globe, securing us a golden age. We also got colonialism, giving our fishing boats even better stuff. I think there is something to, ooh. Extra yield from harbors, plus one production if the city's 15 a pop higher, or plus one food if the city's at least five adjacency. Interesting. Doesn't seem very good. Colonial taxes could be good. Um, colonial offices and colonial taxes. I don't know if we necessarily care about that. I think we're still pretty happy with the setup we have. Ooh, neighborhoods. The neighborhood has the transit station, which gives you pretty good scaling. Considering it's plus one to all yields. What's that? One, two, three, four, five, six. 0 0.6 per pop, which in this city would be 12, 20 pops. So that's like... 12 yields. Not bad. Okay, we got the fairground in Ur. So what are you going to be doing here? Uh, we could get the tourney ground. Yeah, you don't have a governor, so I think we go for the tourney ground. Then we can get the Emporium, the Mint, or the Market. Plus one gold per promotion of a governor established in this city. There's no governor in this city, so we won't be going for the Mint. We could get the Emporium, strategic resource stockpile, foreign trade routes through cities, product slot. Or we could get the market, which is just a lot of specialist slots. Let's go for the Emporium. Yeah, we need to start getting up to our tier two trading billion buildings to keep getting more and more gold. I think that's our that's our goal right now is to get as much to get as much gold as possible. Oh, yeah, loving this. Look at these coastal tiles, fantastic tiles. Okay, harvest here plus three era score. We just finished the harbor. Here's a question: Do we want to go for the Entrepot, the Haven for piracy, or the shipyard for production? I do think these cities might want shipyards. Not that I really care about the naval production part, but the bonus production equal to the adjacency is quite nice. Well, in any case, we'll get the trade dock first, because at least that's a trade route. And that'll keep the gold pumping while your feet are stomping. Uh, boom, boom, fishery tiles, sick as hell. Right, there's square rigging, which does give movement for embarked units. I'm gonna pop up here and start exploring this. Now we got the entry pot here in this trade hub. So this is where I want my traders to be. Um, I would probably like to place the amusement pier. It'd be nice to get a commercial hub. I'm just gonna pop it right there so we can make our trade routes even better in the trade hub. Fishing boat, oh yeah. Look at this now. It's up to 15 gold per turn. It's gonna start getting a return on investment soon. Let's buy this fishing tile, immediately improve the fishing tile. Larsa is starting to already look fantastic. Okay, nice, we got the fishing dock in Oma, giving us a nice boost. Could definitely use a builder. In here, there's a few unapproved tiles. You're gonna pop there to improve that. And you're gonna go ahead and go get these fishing tiles. My goal is just to hyper develop these cities one at a time. So once Bad Tabira is finished, all the gold I invested into it will start to flow into the other cities. And so each time I fully invest into a city, the next city will develop slightly faster. And it becomes like a nice little snowball effect. Yeah, I guess that could be a lumber mill. It's a production tile at least. All right, so what are we working with when it comes to this little continent thing? If I were to settle right there, look at all these fishing tiles we could get potentially. That's a huge city. If we were to do something like this, what about a harbor here? That's a plus six right there, whereas that's a plus five. That's a plus two there, plus two there. If I add the civic square, I think this is the most efficient way to do it. So this is how we will do it. But yeah, I'm looking forward to, um, to the progress we are making. Okay, the world enters into the industrial era. We are in a golden age, so we could do Hicks on Traconis again. We could also do two arms. And I think it might be two arms as a goal because I think it's time that we started to take out these guys. Big problem is the lack of niter. I'm going to have to see if I can... Oh, I can buy luxuries. Hell yeah, I'll buy all those luxuries. All right, all my cities are giga happy now. What I really want is strategic resources and I want niter. I'll buy your... Your 58 niter is a lot cheaper than their 66 niter. So I'll buy your niter. After industrialization, we'll head towards metal casting so we can get bombards. I want a couple of bombards. I will also want knights and cuirassiers. Uh, two envoys, I'll put one in Venice. May as well have suzerainty. Ooh, I would love to get control of Nan Madal. Let's harvest the stone. That will boost the trade dock. I think it's gotta be the shipyard because of the production from the shipyard is huge. 
Well, the Haven gives plus one gold at all coast tiles, which is good for a high pop city. The entrepot is more if I implant a trade here. I think the amount of production produced by the shipyard is hard to ignore, so that's what I'm going to prioritize. I'm wondering what can I sell? I just need like a small injection of gold so I can buy this tile, put a fishery there. Food and production, food production and gold focus is the play in Bag to Beards. So the 20 production and 40 gold per turn, already stonking along. Uh, I'm going to buy the trader and trade hub. The velocity of my money is insane right now. And what I mean by that is like the amount of the rate that my income is in increasing. Because like when I invest money into these cities, the rate that I get a return is like fast. So we'll start investing into Larsa next with our gold. You think of the thousands of gold that I've plugged into Bad Tabira, it's up to 40 gold already. So just imagine if, if I continue to invest gold into it, how quickly that will also continue to stretch and grow. Oh, we can get a great admiral. Turn something into an armada. I'll just put him asleep there. We got a knight in the capital. We can get a hospitium or a garden. I don't want either of those. What I want are military units. So we'll keep making knights. Trade route here. Venice for 18 gold. Perfect. I think the time has come to prepare for war with Patrick Cutie. Now he is slightly ahead of me both on science and culture. Um, but I think my bombards could grind him down, particularly because I now have nationalism. And I'm not far from mobilization. Okay, so you're going to settle there. You are going to settle here. Where do we want to settle in this? Well, we, we want to get this jade. We want to look for resources. So like there's honeybees over here. There's jade over here. You've already scooped up all those resources. I definitely want the honey. I definitely want the jade. This could be a national park city. So if I settle the jade, I put a preserve over here. Uh, we still want to harbor Civic Square and a amusement pier, ideally. But instead of a traditional, like, this city exists to make us resources. And um, this could be a national park city like that, which I think is a reasonable plan because that'll generate a lot of amenities for us. We could get the Museum of Ars in Sipar. We did finish a settler and that is something we wish to continue to do because we have another settlement over here. And then because you occupy all of this land, it might be good for us to do something here. If you're taking all this land, want something to do with all this fresh water, could do something industrially. Like if I were to maybe consider settling here, we build a cistern. What about the industrial zone? We put a couple of mines here. This is now a productive city. It's a plus five industrial zone. What about lumber mills? Yeah, now it's like a bale productive area. It doesn't have to be just productive, right? Because we could slap a little commercial hub down here, a little bit of gold, pop down a fairground, pop down a civic square. This becomes a productive gold generating powerhouse of the cell. Feels pretty good to me, this plan. That'll take up all this land. That'll take up this land. And then I've got like a chunk of weird land down here to the south, which I think means we settle here. We definitely get the harbor, but that's all I'm really planning for this one. So that's three more settlers I need. I've got two on the way. I'm going to take out press gangs and I'm going to plug in the half price for upgrading units card. There you go. Professional army. The douche. I should probably take out the builder card because I'm actually purchasing builders rather than hard building them. So there's a knight. There's a knight. You guys can become knight armies. Ooh, and we have the water of life, which is going to be really helpful. But yeah, we'll probably go for Wanuku first and just sweep our way down to the right. There's another knight we can combine with these two to make an even bigger knight. Um, let me get me, get me, okay, can't quite afford more knights. Um, coursers are a reasonable option too. Just cavalry, really, um, is what we need there. Once this builder is finished, I want this city to produce um, trebuchets. There's another mine for iron. We're going to have a lot of iron which feels pretty damn good. All right, let's go ahead and buy the crabs here. Another fantastic gold tile. So what are the what are the yield from this? Wow, 12 food, eight production, and eight gold. That's really damn good. Uh, Let's see, what about you? What do you yield? Looks like two food, four gold. It's because you don't have your shipyard yet. So I think continuing to invest into Bad Tabira is now, uh, the marginal value of every gold that we invest in here is pretty low. Whereas if we go to somewhere like Larsa, the marginal gold that we invest in here is actually pretty high. So I'm going to go ahead and buy us a builder in here in the next turn or two. Let's combine these together. Plus one era score from industrialization, improving our mines, giving us access, access to coal. We have landed on two coal. And we also have urbanization so we can get neighborhoods now. So let's have a look at the discovered new source of coal. Ooh, in an interesting place and an, an interesting place there. So I think we had finished this. Now, why was I making this builder? It was to put a fishery right there. We'll go grab that coal. With the settler in Kish. Ooh, there, this is worth settling. Purely just coal, though. I guess we'll make it happen. Go ahead and continue to make me settlers. We're going to drop the... Well, actually, I do need public works for the builder stuff. The city of Larsa, I'm going to buy a builder so we can continue to develop that. Force modernization. 
to keep making it cheaper to build units. Make sure you pass through there to get the water of life. There's another fishing boat. So I, I would say that Bad Tabira is now invested into. Oh yeah, we could totally build a neighborhood here. And then we need to start extracting value from Bad Tabira. Babanango, it's flipping. Might get a free city here. Go ahead and eat his soul. You need to buy that fishing tile because once we improve it, it'll improve the city quite a bit. Loving that the shipyard is finished in Bad Tabira. Plus two arrow score for hitting 20 population. I think that's my capital actually. Yeah, capital does hit 20 pop, which is insane. All right, let's see what resources do we have to spend? I could get Muscovin, don't want Muscovin. I will get a Courser and I will get a Knight. I'm gonna spend my iron. We got the Emporium and Ur, which means another trade route and trade hub. We'll buy that trader. Let's see, Merchant Quarter. International trade routes gain one gold. I think that's true for all of these. Okay, yeah. So let's see, Merchant Quarter gives gold bonus equal to the adjacency of the district. So that'll be plus two. Plus two gold, not bad. 13 base gold, 11 base gold, 10 base gold. So it has slightly higher base gold. Uh, plus one housing, plus one citizen slot, plus one great merchant, plus two gold. Then we've got the guild hall, which gives plus one gold to all resources in the city. It's pretty good. And then the bank gives gold based on the number of citizens in the city, which I like that. That's like six gold per turn. Passively. Um, and considering the city, yeah, I think the bank is the one to go for. So we'll get the bank in here. We're trying to, we're trying to increase our gold income. Bad Tabira is finished with shipyards and now it's going to start to produce builders to repay me for all the money I invested into it. These builders will be sent. Actually, you know what? That doesn't seem very good. We should build up our infrastructure. Um, let's build a neighborhood for fun. I'm going to fight for Nan Madal because this is actually insane if I can get them. Babanango for gold. I'm just interested in gold production in this trade hub uh, above all else. Yeah, you love to see the fishery gold starting to develop here in Larsa. So I need... I have a settler going here. Settler has landed here. You're landing soon, which means I need two more settlers at a minimum to finish settling this land. And then probably another one in and around here just to capture land. I look like I like having a lot of land, okay? I'm a land guy. Nothing wrong with having lots of land. Harbor, I guess we'll promote Pingala. May as well, I've got nothing else to do with my governor titles. Working on Scorched Earth. Be nice to plot purchase cheaper too. Mobilization is coming. So we'll be able to make armies. It will also make my life slightly easier. We have bombards coming. Um, let's upgrade you to a bombard. And then we're going to look to purchase some more niter. 46 gold per turn. That's honestly, that's affordable for me. So I'm probably going to launch the attack once I have the ability to make armies. Got 16 luxuries. Man, that feels good. But yeah, Larsa is basically finished. Uh, being developed now too. So we can start working on Eridu next. Why am I doing th these things? I'm not really sure. I'm just enjoying the mod. It's kind of funky. Okay, there we go. Uh, we have access to the prison now. And I think what we wanted to do was to get ourselves the arsenal for siege equipment production. So I'll quickly get to work on that. That'll take 11 turns. Not too fussed about that. Upgrade you to a bombard. We got the commercial hub in trade hub. So international trade routes. We don't care about the governor promotion. I guess we could, in theory, decide to care about the governor promotion. That's something we can just decide. I think we'll go for the Emporium. Plus one gold uh, per turn from and to each foreign trade route to the city. So that seems pretty damn good. This is my trade hub. Pump two more envoys into Nan Madal, just because that's who I want to fight for. Don't care too much about military organization. Could take liberalism. Lots of amenities there. Pumps me up. How's the luxury side of things looking? I'll buy your chocolate, sir. Bomb. Drop a city. Uh, get me the harbor. We'll eventually inject gold into that city to help it develop. Oh, apparently this city needs power. I'm not sure why. I think all my cities need power. Not sure why. Don't understand fully. Uh, there's plus three era score. We love it. It's so many cities. It's absurd. It's a fun time though. I'll be friends with the Cree. I do need to renew my military alliance with um, the Shakans. The Zulu. Oh yeah, I would love siege units to get plus three, plus five combat strength. That would actually just make this war a breeze. My troops are merely passing by. What units do I possibly have on your border? I'm inside my own land. Dude, I denounce you. Okay, we got the dam in Lagash. Let's get the industrial zone and then the cistern. I feel like war is about to be upon us. We just need the cuirassier and mobilization. All right, bad Tabira. Let's buy these last two tiles that we're going to improve. Okay, Larsa is now basically fully developed. We'll get the trade dock in here. I'm going to start buying... Well, not traders, but builders. Uh, trade hub. Buy another trader. Love traders and trade hub. If there's a bad Tabira, is there a good Tabira? Looks like the Zulu are moving in to try and settle in the lands that I consider rightfully mine. Not a fan. Trade with Mitla for the extra gold. Yeah, like bad Tabira alone is making over 70 gold per turn. And that's going to just get stronger and stronger as we continue to invest into it. Trade hub is making like... An absurd 160 gold. Let's see, guilt also. Everything gives international trade routes gold. The adjacency of this district is quite low. So I don't think the merchant quarter makes sense. 
Um, gold per citizen, that's six gold in here, versus the guild hall, which is resources. Don't have a huge amount of resources here, so I think the gold per citizen is the move. And final fishery in Bad Tabira. The city is now, it's like Exodia. We've we've assimilated all of the, all of the things. Oh, he declared war on me. Oh, this is even, this could be potentially good for me. The timing is annoying and I lost two knights, but let me move you to here. You become an army. What is this? A cistern, okay. Become a cuirassier army. Go ahead and become a crossbowman. Shoot and do a little damage there. We're about to get field cannons. You pop to here, his soul. Where's cavalry? Okay, after ballistics, we'll go for cavalry too. This is great. This is actually fantastic for me. This is exactly what I wanted. <laughs> he declared war. He did He did the thing for me. Um, I think Nan Madal is the most important city state to get control of just because of the sheer amount of culture that it provides. Um, but this is really fantastic. Let's promote Victor with garrison commander. And I tell you what, the next episode of this Civ series will be a fun one because there is going to be a lot of combat we have to grind through this massive army that he's built he's got a thousand military strength that he just pulled out of nowhere uh we've got bombard armies that we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna our entire next episode is going to be dedicated to obliterating the incan empire and taking over this entire continent so thank you guys very much for watching i love you all very much and i'll see you guys next time bye bye